Hey, 30 Yacht 6 John here, and today what I'm going to be talking about is some problems I've had with uh, creating a load in the wintertime and finding out it doesn't work in the summertime. This is for my uh, 7mm REM mag, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the video. So back in the end of April, beginning of May of this year, I was working on some accuracy loads for my 7 REM mag using these Sierra 150 grain Game Kings and Accurate Mag Pro. <clears throat> I've been using the Mag Pro uh, off and on here for a while. It's been working pretty good for me. Here's one of my targets. Um, this is when I was testing uh, the run out on my hand loads. And the run out at 0 0.004 was about an inch and an eighth. The run out of 0 0.002 was three quarter of an inch, 100 yards. So I took it out to uh, 325 yards, which is the uh, furthest range I have. It's a uh, close by. Same load, 150 Sierra Game King, 73.3 Mag Pro. I shortened the cartridge overall length to 3.27. It seemed to be giving me a little bit better accuracy. Velocity was a very good 3140 feet per second. With the run out of uh, less than two, I was able to put five shots into about two and a quarter inches. This is at 325 yards. Of course, when the run out is uh, about five, it threw the rounds way off. So that was my load. That was the end of April. <clears throat> and I thought I was pretty much set for uh, caribou hunting here in August. But here in South Central Alaska, the end of April, um, we still had a fair amount of snow on the ground. It wasn't particularly cold, but it certainly was cool. Good squeeze. So here was, um, you know, the beginning of July. I just verifying my uh, zeros and my rifles. And the load here, my pet load, that was supposed to be very accurate. Uh, I was printing, you know, looks like a two inch group right there. Not what a, how I was shooting in uh, April. So then, instead of using the uh, Nosler Acubon long ranges, I went back to my pet load, 150 Sierra Game Kings and the 73.3 Mag Pro, 3.27 inches run out was equal to or less than two thousandths and it sort of wanted to shoot but it threw a couple of these shots off and these were all good squeezes so i didn't understand what was going on there also i tried to work up a load with a 150 grain nozzler partitions uh same powder and cartridge overall length of 3.29 and that just wasn't very good also so I went back to uh published loading data um, Sierra low data mag pro for a 150 grain bullet their maximum powder charge is 70.0 grains of mag pro now Nosler shows for mag pro maximum charge of 72.5 grains using 150 grain bullets and all their cartridge overall length is uh, 3.290 inches so my assumption is now that it was summertime we were having a hot July that are look my loads are a little bit gone goofy there so I start back in the powder charge down yeah back down 0.8 grains 72.5 mag pro um take away my following shots here I put three shots pretty close my fourth shot was a little bit further away inch and three quarters so it's almost seems like it wants to shoot good but still seemed to be a little bit too hot finally back the down to 72.0 grains of mag pro everything else being the same 3.27 uh, inches overall length for this uh, sierra game king i finally shot a good group here 100 yards uh four shots in one and uh, one eighth inches the first three shots were really touching my fourth shot was a little bit off it felt like a good squeeze I could probably tweak this load, but it's getting too close to hunting season here, so I don't want to screw around with this at all. It's good enough. 
Also, I am doing uh, some load work here using 150 grain partitions. Um, it really doesn't shoot great. I'm going to have to play around with the load. I backed it down another grain from the Sear Game King since the partition is quite a bit longer bullet. But, you know, the Sear Game Kings will be my uh, hunting bullet. Then I always take a handful of some type of uh, controlled expansion bullet partitions or Barnes triple shocks in case I cr come across a, a bear. After this year, I'm probably not going to start use MagPro anymore. There's plenty of other powders that are uh, less sensitive to temperature changes. I do have to find them. They're, they've been hard to find lately. I've had pretty good luck with this uh, IMR 4955. It is, says it's made for a 7 rem mag. It does say that it is insensitive to temperature change. That would be a nice powder to use. And also I have this powder IMR 8133. I have not been able to find any of this in Alaska anywhere. Um, once again, that's another powder insensitive to temperature change. A lot of people like to use Reloader 22 in a 7 rem mag, and I've used it in a 7 rem mag also. It is an accurate powder, but from what I've read, it's not really temperature insensitive like the other powders I showed you. It's very similar uh, to MagPro in temperature changes. So I really don't want to use that. I want to find a powder that's not affected by temperature change. <clears throat> so anyhow, that's where I'm at right now, about a week and, week and a half before I go caribou hunting. My load with the 150 Sierra Game Kings is good. I do have to tweak the load for the nozzle partitions to try to get a little bit more accurate. I do know that uh, loads do change from winter time to summertime. Never really experienced this much of a change before. So it was a good learning experience for me. Anyhow, it's all that I have for today, everyone. Hey, thanks for uh, watching. Everyone stay safe and... Uh, Take care. Have a nice day.